Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Today we're going to do um, a bit of stamping with the ornamental pine image. Um, I really love this it's beautiful, beautiful um, image. Um, but I wanted to see whether I could do the effect of a little bit of sparkly snow um, on all the little pine fronds. So I'm going to give that a go and I'll show you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to start off by stamping in the um, silver Encore ink, which is in the big Stampin' Up catalogue, the regular catalogue. And I'm going to just stamp that whole image onto some Marina Mist ink. It's quite a big stamp, so I'm giving that a good press down. Okay, so just as it is, absolutely beautiful. But I'm going to try and use this as the snow. So I'm first of all going to give this a good clean up. Right, so all the silver ink is now off there. This is dried. It takes a little minute for the um, the silver ink to dry. So I've left that to, to dry just for a moment. Um, I'm going to stamp in Mossy Meadow, but I'm going to use my Stampamajig. It's been a little while since the Stampamajig has been out, um, but I thought I would remind you how you use this. So um, it comes with um, a plastic sheet and this is the Stampamajig. Now people do this different ways up, but I prefer um, to do it with the T-shape here at the bottom. So I'm just going to put this, um, this sheet straight into the corner, so straight across there, straight down there, and with my... Ah, this is going to be interesting. I've gone a little bit over the edge where I've mounted this, so I'm just going to do it the other way around. So I'm going to do this upside down, there is no reason why not to, straight in, straight down, so it's right in the corner on my block and onto the sheet. Now this is going to give me a guide of where I want to stamp. So I'm going to lay this down and my idea here is I want the green to be just below where the, where the silver is so that it looks as if I've got some snow on the top of my branch. So I'm just going to lay this down and lift it up. Now that means that that's exactly where I need to stamp. I'm going to re-ink my, um, my stamp and this is with um, the Mossy Meadow, don't know if I said that before. And then I'm going to take my early espresso marker and I'm going to colour in where the uh, branch, where the, the, um, the actual um, stem is there um, in the early espresso. And this is the way round we're going, right into that corner, straight down, straight back up again. And hey presto, we've got some green with just the frost and the snow on the top of that. So I'm going to turn this into a card. Right, so I've gone and got some layers um, to make this into a pretty card. Um, I have um, cut my piece of um, marina mist down just a little bit um, to four inches by three inches. And then I've cut a piece of early espresso at four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I'm going to just glue those together. And pop those on. Um, I've also used a little piece of our um, lovely uh, Trim the Tree stack. Um, and there are some beautiful papers in there. Um, but included in there is this lovely neutral one. Um, which I think I would, would pick up um, with the crumb cake. Now this is actually Sahara sand, but I think I wanted a little bit more of a, of a base colour in there. So I'm going to use the Sahara sand onto um, the base card. Uh, mine here is five and a quarter by three and three quarters. And that is a half and a four piece of um, crumb cake cardstock. So we've got those two layers to go together. I'm going to use the stamp that's actually out of the same stamp set, which is um, Ornamental Pine. So I'm going to use this Christmas Wishes. Um, and I'm going to stamp that in the Marina Mist. Bring that colour in. OK. 
again into the design. Just stamp that on here. And do some little flag ends on there. Oh, that one wasn't really very flaggy, that's better. And turn it round. And cut those pieces there. Now let's see where I want this to be. I think I'm going to make that just a little narrower. So I'm going to just hand trim this. could do this on a trimmer. But I've got a fairly steady hand and I'll just, I'll just speed it up a little bit for the video. And there we go. And I'm going to lay that onto a little piece of um, early espresso. So I cut that layer at three and a half by three quarters of an inch. Pop that on there. And then just layer these up. this piece here and I think I'm going to finish off on this project with just that little bit of dazzling diamonds and for that I'm going to use the two-way glue pen and reach for my dazzling diamonds pot and if you haven't seen dazzling diamonds glitter it is so beautiful and really really soft and, and gentle and I'm just going to put some little lines of the glue on there. Not everywhere, but just a few little lines. And then take a spoon and tap that all over. And when that um, uh, two-way glue is dry, um, I will just take a little brush and take off the excess. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm really pleased with that. I hope you've enjoyed your visit to Elizabeth's craft room today. Come back again soon for more. No.